All right, Juanito's Ville, welcome back, man. It's a, a beautiful spring day. Uh, I went out this morning, picked some rock, and now I'm back here playing with rocks. So I have this crazy lace agate here. I think this is out of Utah. And I want to do a really cool bezel. So this is a jewelry adventure, friends. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but let me tell you what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm thinking of, if this is the, the back plate, I want to do like this and I want for it to dome up and then here have like a circle. And then this, the circle protrudes instead of it being like a typical bezel that you squeeze in. I thought about it when I was laying in bed this morning and I was like, yo, I think I can do something cool. Like I'm not very good with scissors, but let's imagine. Okay, well this is super sucky. Pretend like that's a, a circle. This is what I'm, my vision is guys. If I put the silver over the top like that and it seals it in there like that and I can solder that or I can possibly put rivets. I don't know how to do that, but we're going to figure it out, friends. Well, we got some 26 gauge and I think this is going to be the top. This is kind of the idea that I had. I traced this. See that, friends? And then if I make a hole just a little bit smaller than the size of the thing, then it'll hug it. We're going to do it, guys. We're going to try. Do our very best. It could be a disaster. It could be epic. And uh, let's let's think along the lines of epic. All right, friends, I've designated the uh, front corner of this 26 gauge to our project. Um, hopefully... Hopefully by the end of this video, we'll know if that's too much or we can fine tune what you'll need. That way you can uh, utilize your silver in a way that's going to be more economic. But I think this is going to give us plenty. So we don't, what I don't want to is get into it and then realize I don't have enough room to put rivets or to solder. So we're going to be a little bit generous on this one. So this is what we're working with, friends. Uh, let's uh, Let's make it happen. Hmm, I wonder if I should just dig a, put a hole. Actually, you know what I should do probably to be a little bit smarter is let's kind of, let's make a, a, a nice circle. So guys, this weekend I did a, a hike up Mount Garfield in Grand Junction, Colorado. Oh, it was the most epic hike ever. I can't believe I've lived in Western Colorado this whole time and I've never been up to the top of Mount Garfield. If you ever find yourself in Western Colorado, you got to go check it out, dude. It's super epic. The I'll send, I'll, I'll put a picture. Maybe I'll put a picture so you guys can see what it's about. I don't know if we have any Colorado uh, fans out there. All right, guys, we got a circle right there. I, it's a real circle, not just hand drawn like a third grader, but we're going to put a hole, drill a hole right on the side of the circle because I can use the inside here for a, uh, another piece of jewelry so not put the hole in the very very center like a moron put it at the side so you can just uh keep as much of your material as you can you can use it for later i'm still of the opinion that if you guys see me saw the last few millimeters of whatever i'm sawing it feels like you watched the whole thing psychological tactics friends all right dude so this is where uh i don't know what to do I'm going to use this, use my hillbilly blam I found. I got the Salvation Army or the Goodwill or somewhere. And I'm gonna use this moleskin because I don't want to mar the front of the thing. So I'm gonna, well, let's just go for it, friends. Don't be shy, say hi. Bam, bam. All right, One Needlesville, we're gonna cut this moleskin. This is Dr. Scholl's, uh, this stuff right here, I think you use it for bunions. Uh, I don't know, whatever, like bunion toes or hammer to ham cam hammer toes. Not to be confused with Hornitos, my favorite tequila. What do you want to drink? Let's drink some Hornitos. Alrighty, friends, I'm gonna make a hole right here and then we're gonna be ready.
and this doesn't have to be any kind of size guys i just want for it to give i don't want for it to pull off the adhesive whenever i kind of take it to pound town and these are i have two pairs of these scissors and these are my whack pair that i only use for sandpaper sandpaper i use a lot for sandpaper and i think that's why they suck so don't use your good shears on for cut sandpaper okay that's a perfect size for a nice little piece of bunion friends i cleaned it up and we're about to hammer this and i'm sure you guys are thinking what in the hillbilly is going on over here what has this guy got me into well i'm just gonna trust the jewelry gods i think Let's try this. Big hammer, big hammer. Let's go big hammer. I'm gonna press hard and I'm gonna give it a tap. Tap. Looking at it. Tap. Tap. Makes it kind of want to buckle a little bit. Dude, it's doing it! Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if I should go a little smaller. Well, while I'm here, let's get our mallet and let's just like, well, let's keep going, guys. Nice and protruded right there. I want to make sure I get this other side. Looks a little bit hillbilly. Okay. Let's rectify. What in the hillbilly are we doing, friends? That's kind of my vision, friends. I feel like that hole can be bigger covering a lot of stone. Let me give it some thought, friends. Let me give it some thought. All right, Juanitosville. I annealed it, um, and I was gonna file around. I thought maybe I'll just go like this and put it flat and then just go like this for, until the cows come home and. All right, Juanitosville. Uh, I guess since we're, while we're at it, I mean, since I've already lost your respect, let's go here. So I got this one. This one's kind of big. This one's a little smaller. This is a two incher. I think this might be a two and a half incher over here on this side. We got a two incher that I use this on the, I got this off my, off my vehicle. I use this to pull my, uh, my little camper. Her name's Minnie. I use her to pull the camper. So we're gonna try this. Maybe a little smaller might help. Um, please don't judge me guys. I'm not the brightest. Let's swing that hammer with their left hand, like a real left-hander. Uh oh, something fell. All right, friends. That's the risk when you don't have a tree stump, like a real jeweler. Okay, we got a little, little bit more action there. Let's rectify. Okay. I wanted that to go a little deeper because I want for this stone to sit flush on the back of this friends if that makes any sense flush yes yes flush so i'm going to widen this out just a little bit more by sanding and filing and getting that to be just a little bit bigger because i want to cover i don't want the whole too much to be covered but i think we're close high dollar belt sander right here friends it's looking pretty good friends but I think what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and go forward with my, but really imagine where I want my rivets to be so I can kind of eyeball east, west, north, south side. And then we'll uh, just kind of measure and trim this off right here. Dang. Look, I draw a line like a drunk wino. I did have some pretty strong coffee this morning. Uh, and go like this. I was just looking through the viewfinder to make sure you guys can see what I'm seeing. Put it like that. Maybe make this kind of thinner. 
and then put the bale, put the bale right through it like that. Is that dumb or is that cool? All right, friends, we're going to prepare for rivets. And uh, I don't know if I should use math. Well, somebody out there would be like, you should probably use math. And I, my instincts say I probably should, but I don't know how. You make it equidistant from... Maybe I can use my dividers because you don't have to use math for dividers. I'm kind of a spatial thinker. If I know north and south... I could look at that. Well, I don't know where the middle of this hole is. A little smaller. All right, <clears throat> let's gung ho this bad boy. North, south, east. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you? While we're here. Cool. Got the holes in there. Just gonna make sure everything's filling nice and... Look friends, I screwed up. I... This, that's where the hole's supposed to be, and that's where I put it. So I'm going to drill the hole there and just hope that... <laughs> hope I didn't screw up the whole piece. Can you see what I did? Let's just hope that works. Exclusive, friends! <laughs> Sometimes you take a wrong turn on an adventure. That's just part of it. Oh, man! All right, friends, I'm going to score all around the perimeter here this one's off too god dang it i should have done this first dude this is lousy super lousy dude this is so hillbilly it was a good idea but i ruined it oh gosh i don't know i'm just gonna just push i'm just gonna push i'm gonna keep going we're gonna do it we're gonna make it it's not gonna be perfect but we learned Dang, I wish I would have done this, like, before. <sighs> Is that something you might buy for a dollar? The dollar store? Shape it, huh? It's definitely not going to look like it was made at Walmart. All right, friends, we have 20 gauge right here. We're going to do the back... Guys, I gotta be honest, man. I'm a little bit uh, let down by myself. The way that I didn't know how to do this properly and the math is bad. But the idea is really what the key is and I want you guys to try it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Um, that's what this is about. So we're gonna do 20 gauge on the back. Give it a little bit of weight. A little, little weight on it. Maybe if anything can be round, maybe it could be the outside thing. You know what I mean? Let's make something perfectly round on it so the whole thing's not all hillbilly. Okay, we're gonna go for that. <sighs> At least there'll be one circle. One real circle. All right, friends, here we go. That's the circle. Maybe it'll, that, that line will distract the eye from my obvious mistakes. But hey, this is art, guys. This is art. And we're going to accept it the way that it is because it's what we have. Like, you, you're only as good as you are that day. You're as good as what you got. You, 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 all you can do is, is give what you got, guys. And that's what we're doing today. We're just giving what we got. Um, you know, I think we all want to be perfect. And that's going to motivate us to be a little bit more diligent next time. But uh, th that's that's motivation. You you learn more through mistakes than you do from easy successes. I work hard for the money. Do do so hard for it, honey. I'm sorry. This is so full of errors, friends. I was just looking at these dots, these lines. Dude, they're so off. They're so off. It's ridiculous. 
The only ones that are on are north and south and east and west. I scored. I think I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to keep east, west, north, and south. And those are going to be our rivets. And the other ones are going to go in. And I don't know what it's going to look like. But we're going to... All right. After a little bit of crying, I this is where I'm at. I decided to cut this like this. Because it's the only way that I figured I could still make it work. So I have this hole drilled here. And that's how it's going to be. And I haven't decided if, if I'm going to cut these out. I was thinking about cutting them out. What do you guys think? Should I cut that out? Or leave it round? I'm going to rivet this one. And I'm going to rivet north and south. I'm going to rivet them. Maybe I'll rivet, rivet all of them. And then cut around and let it be what it is. So, so you guys know I'm using 1 16th inch uh, drill bits to drill these holes. I bought these at Harbor Freight. You can get a pack of seven for like five bucks, four bucks, five bucks. I don't know. Um, and I'm using round wire, 14 gauge. It fits very nicely into 1 16th inch. The stone is going to sit under there like this. I'm going to have to, I'm going to rivet all these with the stone in there. It's going to be kind of a new thing I've never done before. And once the rivets are in, I may cut around the perimeter. I think before I set this all and set this stone in, I'm going to do some polishing. Because I should probably polish now and then set the rivets and then they'll, it'll be pretty much, well... The bail. I'm gonna have to get it hot for the bail. You along for the ride, friends. I think that's what we're looking at. That's what I'm thinking about. And then once that's on there, maybe I'll trim around it. Okay, jewelry psychos. Here we are with this. This is the uh, continuation. This is the the hook idea. I don't know what they call these. This part of the. I know the bail is the part that goes right there. Maybe this is part of the bail. Uh, I'm just going to call it the hook. But uh, I, I use this wire right here to put on there. I'm going to file around it and just get this kind of looking a little bit organic. We're getting close, guys. So I decided to put the bail on now. And I haven't cleaned the inside of it yet. But I decided to put the bail on now because what, I'm going to polish everything that's silver. And I have the first hole for the rivet that's going to go right there. Bam. Once I get it riveted on there, then I'm going to probably cut cut these notches out so they, they mimic or echo the front face to give it that kind of like look. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, guys. I don't, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to just kind of play it by ear. But you could already see what that's going to look like. And that's going to be B to the A. All right, one eight Ville. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, as always, if, it, if you, it provided any help to you at all, feel free to subscribe. Uh, we're always doing jewelry adventures over here. So I really appreciate all the subscribers that we have. And the people that are into jewelry adventures. And going out there and just pushing our skills. Improving exploring and having fun with jewelry so i'm benny boom i'm out thank you so much and uh cue the music <laughs>